In the previous class, we discussed about how to create the master data of customers and vendors. So today we are going to post the invoices of customers and vendors. So let's go in the system and create the customer and vendor invoices. So for this I am going to accounting tab in the SAP menu, financial accounting. So first I am going to post the customer invoices, account receivable, document entry and invoice. So my company code is HA01. So here we are going to give the customer account. So I am going to extract the customer account by my company code. So this is my customer account 3202 and invoice date is 03.11.2022 and reference number the invoice number is 121 and I am going to post the amount of 5000 rupees and taxes sales invoice so I am going to assign the general ledger account so let's go and create the general ledger account to post the sales revenue for this I am going to accounting financial accounting general ledger so I am going to create the master record GL account individual processing so I am going to create the general ledger centrally so I am going to create the revenue so for this I am going to create the revenue account general ledger account type is primary cost of revenue income sales revenue save this so my general ledger account is now created I am going to post against this 5000 stimulate this document so this period is not open let's go and open the period of 5th OB52 DC DCPP my risk clear variant I am going to open the period, financial period. Save. Go back. So I am going again and again post the invoice. Invoice posting. So my customer account is three two zero two. Invoice date is three November one two one five thousand. Sales invoice. Sales revenue. Stimulate. So you can see sales revenue is credit and my customer account is debit with these posting keys so save this so my system posts a document of sales invoice let's go and display the sales invoice so you can see sales invoice is posted let's go in the customer general ledger account and display the general ledger account of customer so for this I am going to account so line 
line item display display line items so this is the account of the customer and display the open items so you can see this is posted this is the sales invoice of the customer and this is not due so this is due on the basis of the assigned credit terms so this is the way we are going to post the customers invoice so now go back so this is also posted in the general ledger account as well as customer ledger account so let's go and display the general ledger account so for this i am going to use the sales account account receivable account this is the account receivable account I am going to execute so you can see this document is posted in the customer ledger as well as in the general ledger so when we are going to create our balance sheet and income statement we are only displaying the general ledger account balances so for this purpose system is going to post the sales revenue balance in the customer ledger and the general ledger account as well so when we are going to post the payment which we received against the customer so we are going to receive in in the customer ledger account and then it will be simultaneously posted in the bank account as well so this is the reconciliation account concept from the SAP so let's go and create the vendor invoice as well so for this I am going to accounting financial accounting account payable document entry I am going to post the vendor invoice so I am going to extract the vendor so 3002 is my vendor account invoice date is 03.11.2022123 10, purchase invoice and it will be posted against the general ledger account go back the general ledger I am going to receive this against the expenses copy this I am going to copy the general ledger account purchases save so I am going to post the purchases against this this is 10,000 stimulate so system generated the document display and in this it is debiting the purchases general ledger account and crediting the vendor one and creating the customer vendor liability so post so let's go in the vendor account and display this go back to display the vendor general ledger account I am going to account FPL 1 and display line items so execute the general ledger display 
line item display so you can see it is posted in the line item display of the vendor so this is the way we are going to post the customer and vendor invoices so it will all it is also posted in the general ledger account So here we can also display the general ledger account. So it is posted in account payables and purchases. Entry view. Here the vendor account is displayed and in the general ledger view, the general ledger account is displayed. And my other ledger, it is also posted in my other ledger, ledger T1, which is my non-leading ledger to use the parallel accounting. So I'm using the non-leading ledger to maintain the balance in US cap and I'm using the leading ledger to maintain the balances according to the IFRS. So this is the way we are going to post the customer and vendor invoices. So thank you for watching. That's all for this video.